Welcome back everybody. In today's episode of Cooking with Kirby, we're gonna be making chicken alfredo. Now this is a simple, easy dish. You just need a few ingredients. You're gonna need two chicken breasts. The reason why I have them in a bag is we're gonna pound them out a little bit so that way we can get even cooking. You want a flat, even surface so that way you cook the chicken all the way through. You're gonna need a half a cup of heavy cream, a pound of fettuccine or the pasta of your choice, one stick of butter or a half a cup of butter, eight ounces of Parmesan cheese, two garlic cloves. You'll need a little bit of fresh parsley along with some salt and pepper and some garlic powder to season our chicken breast. So I have some water boiling already seasoned. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump in our fettuccine in there right now. You wanna cook the pasta to al dente, usually about 10 to 12 minutes, but go by the time that your package says. Usually if it says a certain time, I usually pull back about two minutes because we are gonna put it into other stuff and it'll, you know, it'll additionally cook. Now take our chicken breast. As you can see, this side is a lot bigger than this right here. So obviously this is gonna cook a lot faster than here. So what you wanna do while your chicken's in a plastic wrap, let's go ahead and pound it out just a little bit. All right, so compared to before, like for example, if you look at this one, this is a lot thinner. This is gonna cook a lot faster. So that way you kinda of get even cooking compared to as this, you got a real thin spot right here and then real thick. So that's how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press this one and we'll get on to the next step. Now for our chicken breasts. We're gonna simply season them with just salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now be sure to season both sides of your chicken breast. Now take our Parmesan cheese and shred it. Now, if you want for topping, you can use the side where it's thin. That way you get nice little fine shredded pieces of cheese. But for the sauce, all I'm gonna be using is the big portion. As you can see, this is the fine cheese. I'm gonna just, I just shred it up just a little bit so I can top it. But for the sauce, this is what we're gonna be using. In a pan over medium high heat, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of cooking oil. Now give it a few minutes, that way it come to temp. You want this skillet hot when you start cooking your chicken. Now that we have our skillet up to temp, let's go ahead and add in our chicken. Chicken breast is really easy to cook, but it's also really easy to overcook. I try to cook my chicken to about 160 degrees before I remove it from the heat source. It does have some carryover cook time, which actually takes it to 165 degrees. But this chicken, we're gonna be cooking about 80% of the time on this side before we flip. You're roughly looking at about five to six minutes on this side, and then we're gonna flip it for about another three to four minutes, depending. And, and you're gonna be going by the look of the chicken breast, also the internal temperature of the chicken breast. Now it is good to have an instant read thermometer, so that way you can check the internal temperature. Now simply just take the oil and put it right over the chicken breast. That way it kind of helps you cook that other side just a little bit. Now to know that it's a good indicator to actually flip your chicken breast, you'll notice that the sides of the chicken breast will start cooking. It'll look like it's cooked on that side. So once we get it to about where it's coming to the top, like right here, that's when we'll flip. So now we're gonna flip our chicken breast and we're gonna let that finish off that other side. As you see, we got a nice golden brown exterior. After a few minutes cooking the chicken breast on this side, you wanna go ahead and check the internal temperature. What you're looking for, you wanna be at about 160 degrees. This one's right on the money. We're gonna actually remove this one. Now, when you check the temperature, you wanna check the thickest part of the chicken breast. This chicken breast needs a little bit more time, but let's go ahead and skip to the next step so that way I can show you how to make the sauce. Now to finish off this dish, we're gonna be making a simple Alfredo sauce. Very easy to make. So we're gonna set our skillet to medium low heat. To start off with our sauce, we're gonna add in our stick of butter and let that slowly melt. Now add in a half of a cup of heavy cream. Now add in our garlic. Now again, we are on medium low heat. We don't want this to burn. Let's go ahead and mix everything together. You wanna to marry those flavors together. That garlic, that butter and that creaminess from that 
uh, heavy cream. Now season with a little bit of salt, a little bit of fresh cracked black pepper. Now add in our cheese. So we're gonna let this slowly melt in that cheese. I can already tell you right now, it's smelling really good. I can't wait to try this. This looks like a nice sauce. I'm just waiting for that cheese to melt up. But let me tell you, this smells fantastic. That cheesy, garlicky, I can't wait to try this. All right, our sauce is pretty much done. It's a nice, thick, cheesy sauce. Now we'll just add a little bit of fresh chopped parsley into it, just to add some color to it and a little bit of earthy flavor. All we gotta do now is just toss in our pasta. Do it in batches because uh, sometimes it can get a little overwhelming once you get everything in there. All right, so we can turn off the heat. We don't need any more heat. Our, our pasta is all nicely tossed in our cheese sauce. Now let's get back to our chicken breast. Now to finish this dish off, I can tell you right now that sauce is so delicious. Now we're gonna take our nice juicy chicken breast and just lay it around our pasta. You can actually serve this as you dish it or you can cut them into smaller chunks and toss it around. But look how juicy that chicken breast is though. Not overdone, nice and juicy. That's how you want your chicken breast. Cook it to about 160 degrees and pull it and let it rest. You could just cover it with some foil. It'll, it'll cook through. But this right here is the type of chicken breast I like. Moist, juicy, good stuff right there. Just to finish this off, we're gonna sprinkle some of that Parmesan cheese that we reserved earlier. Just a little bit of parsley. That right there, folks, is my chicken alfredo. Look at that. Perfectly cooked chicken breast and some beautiful pasta. Might add just a little bit more Parmesan right on top for me. I love cheese. The main thing that I wanna check right now is that sauce. I wanna taste the sauce with the pasta. Mmm, mmm. That sauce is amazing. Like I said, I love cheese, so a nice, a nice, delicious, savory sauce with some cheese in it. I'm all with it. Mm-hmm. You guys gotta try this recipe. Mm. Chicken's perfectly cooked. Overall, very well balanced, delicious, delicious dish. Overall, very savory, really delicious. You guys gotta try this recipe. If you're new to my channel, consider hitting the subscribe button. Now we can see future videos just like this. I wanna say thank you to my members. I truly appreciate you guys. They support the channel. And if you guys wanna be a part of the Fat Pants crew, go ahead and click on the join button down below. As always, I'll leave the link in the video description and in the comment section. So that way you can go to my website, cookingwithkirby.com to get the full printable recipe. And I have these recipes. They're really good. Just try them out. May y'all be beautiful and take care. We got something to eat. Mm hmm. Hmm.